So there's a lot of cold air. It is just located to our north. That bitterly cold air has been locked in across Alaska and northern Canada thanks to a very persistent jet stream pattern that has allowed us to stay warm here in the lower 48. It's a west to east jet stream pattern. And with that type of uh, wind direction, Across North America, the cold air stays up here and the warmer air stays south. If that jet stream were to buckle and go more north to south, then that would bring that colder air in from Canada and Alaska. And there are some signs that we could see some of that colder weather working in as we head into next week with the threat for maybe several days or longer of below normal temperatures, something we have not really seen uh, so far this winter across most of the country. This pattern is also favorable for seeing some more snow. So it looks like we could be uh, looking at a more winter-like pattern here as we head deeper into February. Speaking of a winter-like pattern, today certainly feels like winter, no doubt about it. In fact, today is only the third day out of the last month and a half with below normal high temperatures. The normal high is 26. We're at 26 in Kiwani, Sheboygan, and Fond du Lac, but just about everybody else across the Fox Valley is only in the lower 20s. And now that the clouds are thickening up and the sun is setting, that temperature is going to hold steady and start to drop. 23 right now in the valley with mostly cloudy skies. We've got cloudy to partly sunny conditions here in Green Bay. You can see some dim sunshine here with some thicker, higher clouds moving in from the south and west. The high temperature so far today, 23 degrees. Storm shield radar does show quiet conditions across northeast Wisconsin. We've got a big storm that's going to pass well to our south over the next 24 to 48 hours. There might be a couple of flurries south and east of Lake Winnebago tomorrow, but uh, that would be about it. High pressure is our main weather maker. It is located directly overhead. 